Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I want to talk to you guys about Citizen and American Lyric by Claudia Rankin. This is kind of a collection of poetry, kind of a collection of essays. It's non-fiction and it's her commentary on uh, race relations and microaggressions in the United States, especially faced by black people. This is a very unique book and it's very difficult to figure out a way to talk about it because I feel like there's nothing else out there quite like it. There was this article that I saw in the Washington Post where the editor of this book did an interview and the way that the editor talks about this book I feel like is the best way to talk about this book so I just wanted to read that really quickly. The editor's name is Jeffrey Schatz and he says, Citizen is that very very rare book that can focus with precision and honesty about race in a way we haven't seen before. It compels both the wider reader and the critical reader. It is poetry, it is essay, it is autobiography, it is cultural criticism, it is illustrated text. So that just does like the best job possible I can think of to sum up this book. I feel like a big thing about this book is seeing the way that it's laid out. So it's a pretty decent sized font and there's not a lot of word on every single page and some of the pages like this have illustrations, photographs, some are like more artistic type pieces like this. Some of the pages are just laid out like this and they are just telling the stories of racism and like the awkward situations that black people have had to face and the more aggressive situations that black people have had to face. There's one section where she talks significantly about Serena Williams and just the different levels of racism she's had to face in her tennis career and how for the most part she's maintained pretty solid composure over it but the few times she has lashed out how that sort of judged on its own as opposed to being sort of like a culmination of the whole. There's also some commentary about here about some World Cup situations that have happened where racist slurs were used. It talks a little bit about Katrina, it talks about Trayvon Martin, it talks about Stop and Frisk, but all of these are very short stories. So like the stories in here are often just like a page long or the commentaries, I feel weird calling them stories, but like the commentary and like the ideas are often just like a page long. Some of them go over a couple of pages but in general it's not significant. This book is also broken up into sections so there are kind of themes between what's in each section but there's no like heading for each section so you don't really know what you're walking into when you start each section which was really interesting just to see like how the different topics were set out. So it's like for me personally I was reading this book and I was reading section one and I'm like okay this is how it's going it's about a half page paragraph about something and then the next page and another half page paragraph about another topic that we're all dealing with like race and culture and things like that and then I got to section two and it was more of a long form essay about a certain subject matter and then section three was like a completely different style so this book constantly keeps you on your toes or once you got comfortable it like pushed you and made you uncomfortable again I think uncomfortable is a very good word for this book because it talks about a lot of things that make a lot of people uncomfortable whether it be the people who feel uncomfortable because these situations actually happen to them or it makes you feel uncomfortable because you might be the person who has been in that situation who has been the one doing the uncomfortable thing. I think there's a lot of things in here that the author touches upon that are things that aren't really spoken about. They're just things that are happening in the world that no one has really put into words before that I at least have seen put into words before and the way she puts it into words are very powerful and because it's written in this sort of lyrical slash poetic slash essay type form. It has a lot of punch to every word. This is one of those books that very much has its finger on the pulse of what is happening right now in the current world. I would definitely recommend reading this book if you have any interest whatsoever in sort of the United States cultural tension that's happening right now. And not that it's only happening right now, like this has been happening over decades and hundreds of years, but I think it's something that is particularly being discussed more. So if you have an interest in seeing things from the perspective of a black person this would be a great resource for that. But I think just the way that it's written and the way that it's laid out it's very much not like a typical book which I could see tripping up a lot of people so I think if you're going to read this book just kind of go into it with an open mind. Just try not to have any sort of like expectations, don't have any notions of what you're going to get out of this book because I think if you're expecting something out of this book you're going to be disappointed because 
like for me personally I wanted slightly more depth from this book but I think if she went any deeper it would be more difficult to read. I think that the way she talks about race and racism and tensions and microaggressions is very much the only way you can talk about it without it becoming too overwhelming if that makes sense. So yeah I gave this book a four to five stars. It was really fantastic, totally makes you think, or totally made me think a lot. I highly recommend it, especially if you like nonfiction, if you like essay collections. If you're someone who read like Bad Feminist, not that this is written in a similar style as Bad Feminist, but if you like the way that Bad Feminist sort of uh, explore different ideas and ideals of feminism and you want something that makes you think about the ideas and ideals of race relations then I think this would be a really good book to pick up. So yeah those are my thoughts on Citizen. If you have read this book feel free to leave your comments down below letting me know what you guys thought of it. Or if you have any questions about the book feel free to leave that down in the comment section as well. So yeah that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.